If we're going to take something seriously as an eschatological document, a prophetic document, no matter what its origin is, I know the church The church likes, likes to claim many things. One of those things is, is the fiction, fictional story that John the Apostle was on the Isle of Patmos when he received a vision of God, and he wrote down the book of Revelation. It's an absolute lie. The church made that up. It's not true. Uh, some of the writings of Revelation are very, very ancient. They could have never been originally written in Greek. Greek is what they were translated into. Some of them were borrowed from Serenthus, who had gathered many of the pieces of the old Sibylline oracles. So we're dealing, we're dealing with a text that is very unusual. And in my own presentations and published books, I have revealed to you over and over that the cipher for understanding the book of Revelation, the book about the future, the last days, the end of the world, that book must be decoded by knowledge of ancient history. Much of that ancient history is in Genesis. But you can't use history in between from ancient times to unfolding history in the last few thousand years to the last few few centuries and think that you're going to be able to decode the book of Revelation. It's not going to happen. And the reason scholars know that the book of Revelation was not originally a Greek text is because it has it has absolutely nothing in its in its imagery in the symbols, these, these, these poetic metaphors that are Greek, nothing. What we find in the book of Revelation is a text that was translated from another language into Greek, but the symbols that are in the text itself are Sumerian and Akkadian. In any student learning their tables and tablets, in the second and third millennium BC, would have would have easily understood what many of these symbols were. We're going to go through a few of them in here. They're absolutely necessary because the elite know these symbols. They do it right in front of us all the time. We're going to talk about that too. We're going to talk about the rituals that led up to 2020 and what really unfolded. Mm-hmm.